God is in me, through me, for me, and with me. Where there's God, there's no imperfection. Welcome everyone, it's a beautiful day. We're out here in Los Angeles. We're out here in Los Angeles, I'm here. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. I enjoy coming out here mainly because of, it inspires me. I'm around a lot of people living their truth. You know, when I get out here, I like to come out to Koreatown. I enjoy ramen. I enjoy the food, I enjoy the culture. I spent a lot of time in Miami for four years and when I played for the Dolphins and I saw that culture, Latin, and I saw, you know, that, you know, regardless of where we come from, regardless of the language, regardless of the background, the experience, the color, the age, that we all speak the same language. We all can understand and relate to the same exact language. Frequency, emotions, energy, vibrations, waves. And these things are things that we can't see that, but we use constantly. And we are constantly carrying a certain frequency in our spirit and our aura. When people are around us, a lot of times they feel where we're at. And I realized that because you can't see these things doesn't necessarily mean that it's not there. Emotions carry a certain frequency. Enlightenment, you know, joy, happiness. These are high vibrant emotions. Peace. These are high frequencies. They vibrate on a high level. When you're around this frequency, your spirit feels good. When you are in that frequency, when you are expressing that frequency, people feel you living your truth. They feel you being happy. They can see it in your eyes. They can feel it when they walk into the room with you. In the same breath, there are low vibrational emotions. Pride, fear, shame, anger. These are vibrations that, you know, I know I don't like being around it. <laughs> I think a lot of people can say that they try to get out of that. Or when people around when people around them are in low negative spaces, that doesn't necessarily feel good. It's a low vibration, it's a low density. And you know, I think a lot of it has to do with you know how we manage our inner world, our inner reality. And I think the more energy that we allow to flow within us, the more, the higher our frequency will become. The universe, God, everything around us provides energy that we breathe in and out. And essentially, throughout time, a lot of us, most of us, you know, we may come into the world feeling free. Our spirit feels free. We just pooping, eating, crying, getting fed, all that good stuff. You know, but over time, these blockages come. We create these blockages in our spirit and our life and we, we tend to dim our light, dim our spirit. I look at it like this. If you imagine a spirit and you're afraid of something, something deep down inside you're afraid of it or, or you're shameful of it or pride is in the way of it, maybe insecure about something. These are chains you're putting in yourself. You're making your spirit really heavy. It's, it's hard for that energy to flow smoothly through you because of the fact that these blockages are occurring. And I truly think that's a lot of people who suffer from depression, that has a lot to do with it. They've gotten to a point in their lives where they've gotten so far removed from their inner self because these blockages are in the way. They put up these walls that doesn't allow their, their spirit to shine, subconsciously or consciously. You think of these celebrities who end up suffering from depression, you realize, man, they had everything that they wanted, everything they dreamed of, but in reality, they were suffering because a lot of them built this character. They thought that some, that people would like them for a certain reason. They've gotten far from their self and they weren't truly authentic to their spirit, to their self. 
And although they have all the accolades in the world, they feel so far removed from themselves. And a lot of times that's what causes that depression. And when that energy isn't able to flow through you, then those blockages don't go away. They continue until you deal with it, those blockages don't go away. For me, my throat chakra, and we can speak about chakras at another time, but essentially, for a long time, I felt like I wasn't able to express my true identity, my true self, because of out of perspective, because of fear of what other people may think, because of shame, because of pride even, because I felt like I needed to be somebody else in order for people to like me. But over time, I realized that it was something I needed to develop, it was something I needed to clear, my throat chakra. We all have these channels in our body, and when, that's, when that energy is able to flow smoothly, that we're able to really live out a higher purpose at a higher level. We have a higher frequency. And I felt choked up, not literally, but spiritually, because I couldn't speak, I couldn't express. And that's all me. I had to really dive deep and deal with it. And we all have these blockages in our lives. And the goal is to really figure out what it is inside of you. And so when it comes to these emotions, Everyone can speak it, everyone can hear it, everyone can feel it. Once you become more conscious of it, you'll know when it's happening. I can go into a room full of people who don't speak my language and I can give one big smile and they'll receive the message. Because I've emitted that positive emotion, I've emitted that positive frequency. And then at the same breath, they'll understand when I come in there and frown or I'm in a bad mood. I'll emit that emotion as well and they'll receive it. But it's not, it's, it's like the saying says, like it's not about, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. And you can't hide the delivery, you can't hide the energy behind it. No matter what you say, you can say it two different ways with different energies and people receive different messages. And I really realized this, like we, we all truly speak the same language. And you know, I think one of the biggest objectives for us as a human race is to find, find ways to operate at that higher frequency. When we operate at that higher frequency, everyone around us is affected. The overall vibrations and the consciousness of the planet grows because we are living our truth. We are creating together. And so, you know, truly, we're always surrounded with a lot of this negative frequency. Food, the things we eat, the things we see on television, the things we see, the things we hear, the music we play in our, in our mind, and our, the things we consume on a day-to-day -day basis, a lot of times it's low vibrations. And we really have to be active and surrounding ourselves with positive frequencies because you become what you consume. And so I think the true objective, the true battle is understanding how to remain at that high frequency regardless of your outer reality because really, at all, how we react, how we, how we deal with it comes from inner. And that's very difficult to do and it takes practice. It takes understanding like what it is that ticks you, what it is that creates a low vibration in your life. But the moment we can walk into a low vibrational room and keep our peace, keep our harmony, keep our high vibrations, then truly we'll be able to live in our truth. We won't develop these blockages that, that come out when we're around certain people. We'll be able to fully, our spirit will be able to shine and the people around us will be able to feel it and they'll understand the language that we're speaking to them. And then truly, anything around us, our outer reality won't be able to dim our shine. God is in me, through me, for me, and with me. And where there's God, there's no imperfection. Sorry it's so loud. There's a highway right behind me. Cars are flying. People got places to go. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.